As we continue our refactor of this process command, the next thing that I'd like to tackle is adding a class that kind of oversees the entire package. Now I'm going to call this class press as it's going to be our primary class. So to add that in, in my sources directory, I'm going to add a new PHP class called press. And like I said, this is going to be my primary class. This is the kind of class that would oversee all sorts of the important parameters needed for this package to run properly. I think it will be a lot easier for you to understand how we're going to use this class by actually just start using it. So let's go back to the process command and let's take a look at this section right here. Now that's very specific logic, right? We are checking if our press config is actually configured. Now I could see me using that in other places and I would have to repeat this logic. It would be a lot better if I can encapsulate that inside our new press class. So let's tackle that now. I'm going to add a new public static function and the method name is going to be config not published. And what is this going to do? Well, it's going to do the exact same thing that this is doing. So I'm actually going to copy that and I'm going to return that. So what this does is it gives us a named constructor for this class that will really have a significant name, something that we can actually remember what it does. So now we can simply call press and we can say config not published instead. And that will work exactly the same, but it reads a lot better. So in our handle method, if our press config is not published, then we're going to do this. I think that reads phenomenal and that's a really easy refactor that really pays off. Up next for that same class, I want to tackle this files thing. In our introduction video, we spoke about a driver based approach and up until this point we've been using file. So that would be one driver that we could have could be the file driver. So I want to start our refactor towards a driver based. Now that we have all of the building blocks in place that we need to actually make it work. We're going to start building towards that. And the very first step is to be able to call some sort of driver. And what I'm thinking is I should be able to say press, give me your driver and then fetch all the posts. Because at this point, I don't care what driver we are using. I simply want the press class to give me its driver and on its driver, I'm going to call a fetch posts method on it. So let's work towards that. I'm going to comment this out just for now. So we need another name constructor, public static function driver. And in driver, of course, we can't do something like return file driver. That wouldn't work because it's not configurable. So how could we make that configurable? We have our config file. Let's visit that now. Press.php. And let's add a new entry here. And I'm going to call it driver. I think that's appropriate enough. I'm also going to default it to file. So here we're going to say something like my driver is going to be and to start I'm just going to call config press driver. Of course at this point this will simply return file all in lowercase the same way that we wrote it here. So I'm going to wrap this around title case another helpful Laravel function that we have at our disposal. So that We'll turn that from file to lowercase into file, capital F. And then we're going to have to come up with some sort of class name. So let's think about the namespace very quickly. Namespace wise, we know we start with vitconvt and then press. Then we'll make a new one called drivers. And then we'll follow that, the driver, driver. So what this will translate to is something like vitconvt, press, drivers, file, driver. So we have that, we have our class name, so we can simply just return a new class. So we can dynamically instantiate this class method that's right in here. Obviously that class does not exist right now, so let's add that right now. In my sources directory, I'll make a new directory called drivers, and inside drivers we'll add a new PHP class, and the first one we're going to do is file driver. So just to recap what we have so far in my process command, I'm going to call a driver method in my press class. And on the result of that, I'm going to call fetch posts. So that's our very first method for file driver In file driver. We'll make a new public function and we'll call it 
fetch posts. And what does fetch posts do in FileDriver? Well, we've actually already implemented it. It does this. It does all of this right here. So we can simply bring that over right here. And then what we'll do is we'll make this an array. So that way, each one is going to go ahead and handle it the way it needs to handle it. We'll need to import this class here. We'll need to import this class as well. That's illuminate support facade file. Looking good. And then at the end of this, we're just going to return post. I think it would make more sense if we relabeled this to posts with an S at the end, as that's what it's doing. So when we call this fetch posts method, it will fetch all of the files using our config file. And then for each file, it will run it through our press file parser class, passing it the path and then get the data on that. And then at the end, we just return posts, which is over here. Now, there is a possibility that posts will not be set at this point. So we'll simply default to just an array just so we don't get any errors on that because there is a possibility that there are no files. So if there are no files, then the for each will not run and my posts variable never gets set. We'll leave a nice default here of empty array. So I think we're ready. We can get rid of those lines and we can go ahead and implement this now. So we can say posts equals press get me my driver. Let's see what that looks like. So our driver method, what it does is it goes into the config and it finds what the existing driver is and it's going to run title case on it. And then we're going to whip up a namespace starting with vitconvt press drivers and then we're going to concatenate whatever the result was of this over here and then we're going to concatenate the word driver. We're going to go ahead and return a new instance of whatever that class is and on that result if we look back in our process command on that result we're going to fetch the post. So in our case it will be file driver and it will call this method. Does that all make sense? I know that's a lot going on but let's go ahead and run it and see if we get a similar result. PHP artisan press process. At first glance, it looks like we made a mistake. But what is actually happening is that remember, we added a new field to our configuration file, but we did not republish our config file. So I can prove that right now. If I vim config press, you see we only have that path. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that file, config press, and I'm going to run php artisan vendor publish dash dash tag press config okay and if we vim into that now you see now we have a driver so this is obviously an issue right we're not tackling that just yet we're not doing any error proofing on that let's go ahead and run the command one more time and keep working through everything and so the next error that we come to is that because we removed the for each statement now there is no post variable let's check that out and that makes total sense, right? We have this posts variable and we're actually not using it anywhere because this will only run on a single post. You can only create one at a time at this point. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to say for each posts as post and inside that, then I'm going to run that. So that way it can create a post inside our database for each individual post. Let's go back to my terminal, run PHP artisan press process. And there we are, we're back to the same error. I do want to remind you, I am getting this error right now because my database is not set up in my sample project. We're not worried about this project, it's not a real project. I just want to test our package with it, so we're more concerned with our package code, not quite with this. So don't worry about that, it is running, as you can tell, again, on that SQL query. In the next lesson, I'm going to take this file driver and continue to extract parts of it to make it more reusable and ultimately have an abstract driver class that we can use to generate any number of drivers for any number of sources that we would like. So I'll see you in the next lesson.